And to prove the point, here's Hamish McHamish, a ginger moggy that has an entire <laughs> town wrapped around his little finger. Or should that be his little paw? St Andrews in Scotland attracts thousands of visitors a year to its splendid golfing greens, its stunning scenery and a world-renowned university with some particularly famous alumni. But there's one visitor in particular who's attracted the attention of the locals. He turned up on its streets 13 years ago and has been here ever since. May I introduce Hamish McHamish. He's somewhat of a celebrity in the old grey tune. Preferring to roam free, Hamish chooses where he wants to sleep or eat each day. He even has his own social media page with over three and a half thousand fans and is well known for popping up in some pretty unusual places. In my toilet, it's the most unusual place I've found them. I like to see him sitting on the town hall steps. There's a myth about Hamish that if he crosses your doorstep, that uh, is lucky for the shop. We give him a little brush when he comes in because sometimes he looks a bit messy. Although I'm convinced other people do it as well because some days he turns up very dapper. So famous is Hamish, he's even had a book written about him. Why do you think he's become so popular? Um, I think because the good folk of St Andrews see it as their collective responsibility to look out for Hamish because he's got no fixed abode. Wherever Hamish chooses to go, he's really welcomed with open arms. Mapping Hamish's seemingly random routes around St Andrews is the perfect case for the One Show Catnap team to investigate. Yesterday, we put a GPS transmitter on a collar around Hamish's neck while he was at one of his favourite places, the local estate agents. It sends a signal to a satellite pinpointing his location. There are two further readings from neighbouring Queen's Gardens, but then he disappears. So the last reading we have locating Hamish's whereabouts was last night on this very road. Now the GPS only works when he's outside or near a window and it's pretty cold outside, so I'm guessing he's curled up inside somewhere warm. So we're gonna to have to use good old fashioned techniques to find out where he is. So I'm thinking, knocking on doors, let's do it. Susan has got to know Hamish's movements pretty well, so I've enlisted her help to try and track him down. No, oh. okay. Hamish the Yes! Uh, I haven't around, I'm so sorry. Everyone knows him! After nearly two hours of searching and all but giving up hope, there's a message on his social media page. Hamish is in a house just behind the street on the catnav, right between the hair salon and the estate agents. So it's the moment of truth. I finally get to meet the famous Hamish McHamish, who's been here all the time with Adrian. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How, how long has he been here then with you? <laughs> He's been here since about four o'clock last yesterday. He comes here once or twice a week. Uh, I think he likes that it's so quiet. Hamish has been master of his own destiny for so long, it might sound like he's had to learn to look after himself out of necessity, but he's actually just a free spirit who left his owner's garden age one when he grew from a kitten into a very adventurous young cat. Today, his owner can only be sure of seeing him once a year, and only then after she's hunted him down, so she can take him to the vets for his vaccinations. So did you try and find him after he first wandered off? I certainly did, and I used to go out at night if he wasn't at home and look for him in neighbouring streets, and if I found him and uh, he wanted to come home, he would allow me to lift him up and carry him home like a cat taxi service. If ever a cat was a free spirit, that one is. <laughs> Do you like it that the community of St Andrews has embraced him? I think it's delightful, yes, <laughs> that he is, the, he is now the St Andrews cat. Everybody knows him. <laughs> oh, I Class. want to a Hamish. He's Class. Lovely, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. Cute. And you were just saying you haven't got a cat officially, but you have got your own version of a little Hamish. Oh, that visits you. yeah, there's one that come, comes in the window when I'm not looking. Yeah. And do you, do you <laughs> feed what, just... him? Oh, um, there he is. Yeah. Oh, there now. he is, yes. That's a live shot of your really house now. I'm in, yes. Give me a look. <laughs> <laughs> have you the Stay to that stair carpet. <laughs> 
Burglar. Right, well, earlier on, Martin told us that uh, dogs show six different types of uh, doggy emotions through their barks, but uh, we know a dog that can do...